My name is Dave Moss. For over 20 years now, I've been helping riders maximize the performance and life of the tires on their motorcycles. This is Contact Patch. We're at Button Willow. We're gonna test out Bridgestone's brand new R11. Now, as far as the front goes, it's bigger. One of the big mistakes you can make with tires is actually pulling this off because what you get left with is a very heavy glue residue and then you put your warmers on. So the warmers heat the glue up and the warmer sticks to the tire. So when you pull it off, you destroy your warmers. So whenever you're changing tires, if they come with a sticker, leave the sticker on. When you peel the warmers off, the tire's nice and hot and the sticker falls right off of it and away you go. And that way you don't damage warmers. I've actually lost a set of warmers to that and that was my lesson. Now, because the tires came back from the tire changer, we can't assume anything. So we've got to go ahead and set the pressure ourselves to make sure we know what we have. After that pressure's set, then I have to get to work with the geometry change in the forks. All right, let's get on track, script these R11s in. Get no rush in the first session. So first thing straight off the track is tire temperature. All right, so the purpose of scrubbing is A, the wheel's got to get hot, and then the B, B, the tire needs to stabilize. All right, away we go. Second session. A little more lean. Go to the edge of that tire. Oh my God, that one millimeter is fantastic. As far as the front tire goes, we're getting our braking lines here, straight across. Okay, and now we'll go on our third run. We've got to get that rear tire temperature somewhat close, 200 plus. So we'll go around the outside there. We'll pick our moment here. Gotta wait a second. On the inner edge, massive rubber buildup. So that peels right off, which is what we could see in that the sidewall would flex, but the carcass would hold. We were at 79 degrees this morning and now we're at 130. So let's see how we do on this session. Right now we should have 95% of the setup work finished. So we know definitively now, given the track temp of 130 now probably, <coughs> and that pressure in the front, we're golden. Well, let's see how we do with that rear pressure now. All right, now with that pressure, I can really feel the front, uh, the rear protesting. Spinning. So now we're going to open up this contact patch significantly. The other part is on acceleration. Is the bike going to run wide? Because the back tire is going to completely change its shape, potentially. I'll give it a little more lean, a little more cornering force. Bars aren't moving at all. No, not running wide. We might get rid of that, but with no acceleration squish and no change of line, I was able to get on the gas equally as hard coming off the corners. Even wheelie the front tire coming off the corner because the grip coefficient, grip level never changed. But it does naturally move that carcass dramatically left to right in cornering. This R11 offers a lot more stability, braking, acceleration, mid corner, I've earned my water. I'm going to go drink now. To schedule a remote tuning appointment for you and your bike with Dave via text, email, Facebook, etc., contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.
Thank <laughs> you.